going on guys welcome back i'm in, back in the shop today so over the last couple days i was out fishing um, my cousin mike got a nice nice 41 inch muskie the other day i got skunked unfortunately so in the back of my head i'm trying to think of some good color ideas to paint some lures and hopefully have a little bit better luck this year and i came up with one that i think is going to look pretty sick but also be very effective down there just because white green both work and it's kind of going to be themed off of the monster energy drinks stay tuned and i'll take you guys along as i paint this one up all right i got you guys all set up here so i got this all primed yesterday this is another one of those berkeley magic swimmer lures awesome lure down at lake st Clair. got it on the jig head here uh, my custom jig here that i used to paint my lures so i used this Rust-Oleum 2X white primer, also bonds to plastic. Uh, I've had really great success with this primer so far. Uh, just when you're musky fishing, like with the big teeth that they have, inevitably some paint's gonna be coming off, but so far I've had really good success with this stuff. Um, so I'll keep using it for now. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with some lime green. Some of the, the Cretex Wicked Colors. Uh, Pearl lime green there, number 0305 if you guys are interested. This is one of my favorite colors that Cretex makes. And I'm gonna start by coating the whole thing. All right, we got the first layer done, so we're because I want it to be a nice bright lime green, I'm gonna have to do this in a bunch of layers, basically just to build up that color. Because right now, as you can kind of see, it's kind of like a watered down yellowy green, but we want this bright, vibrant green here. So the more layers I do, the brighter it's gonna get. And uh, that way we just prevent any rip, uh, drips and runs and stuff like that. So get the paint gun loaded up here again, and we'll start our second coat. <laughs> Second coat's done. Gonna hit it with the heat gun again, just to, uh, like I said, prevent any drips. Last thing you want to do is spend all this time getting it all prepped and ready to go, and start getting drips and runs throughout your job here. But we're starting to get the color. A few more coats. All right, I'm just gonna do one more layer, just because I want to make sure this green really pops. Um, but you can see we're almost there. It looks pretty sick. It's got a pretty, the like, green to gold. Uh, shimmer there you can kind of see as the light hits it. I think this is going to be pretty sick All right, I'm gonna let this dry up for probably a few hours just because the next step I got to put some painters tape on it So I don't want I want it to be good and dry so that way we, we don't peel any of this paint off I mean we just spent all this time putting it on right. We don't want to mess it up All right, so I'll see you guys in a bit when this is fully dried and then we'll start putting on the tape and making our pattern so I've got tape here, and this is going to be my lines, basically the monster energy or the perch stripes, if you will, um, with painter's tape there. And I'll show you how I do them. You just take a bit of painter's tape, put it down on a cutting board. I like to use the cutting board because you obviously cut it, but also this painter's tape doesn't stick to it too well. You just make a couple slits, and this doesn't have to be perfect, but if you tear it, you'll get better edges. So I don't know if you can, if the camera's picking that up or not, but basically you get a rougher edge and you just kind of pull it, pull it like so, just to, and try and make as random of a pattern as you can. So you get something like this. Once you have something like this, you take another piece on, put it on your cutting board, put the other one kind of on top of it loosely. Make a couple cuts like this. And then again, just kind of pull, but try to follow your previous lines. And it doesn't have to be perfect, because obviously in nature, nothing's perfect. And in my opinion, it actually looks better if it's not, if the corner, if the edges aren't too perfect. So you'll get something like that. And then you just stick it on like how I have on here. 
and just make sure it's all nice and tight. And then we're on to the next step, which is applying our black base coat. All right, here we go with the black. Don't worry too much about the belly because that's going to get painted a different color. But the main thing is we just want to make sure all the sides get covered with black, the face, and the top. The farther you get into these steps, the more you want to let things dry because it gets harder to fix and you've spent all this time getting to this point. So you might as well let it dry and then you don't have to worry about it peeling. Alright, the black is dry and I got my mesh here which is going to give us our scale pattern. I'm not 100% sure where I got this from. I'm pretty sure it came from like a package of oranges, so don't be afraid to keep stuff like that. It's got a nice honeycomb pattern, which looks good as scales. So I'm going to get this all on here nice and tight. So the main thing here is you want to get this as tight as possible so that there's no gaps. That way your paint can't get underneath. And the way I do that is I use these clamps here. I will get this all set up and then we'll start painting. Our mesh is on and I'm going to be using some pearl white. Never tried this brand, so hopefully it's okay. Proline RC body paint. But the Pearl White is exactly what I'm looking for, and let's see how it turns out. Well, I wasn't too impressed with that RC paint. It kind of left some uh, clumps, so I would suggest just sticking with the uh, Cretex paint. They uh, shoot out of the gun a lot nicer, and uh, you'll avoid having some of it's hard to pick up on the camera, but in the grand scheme of things, it'll barely be noticeable. And we're going to recover now, but you can see we got the scale pattern on there. Now we're going to come up, do some black detail along the top here, around the eye. And I'm thinking a little bit around the gill plate just to uh, blend that in a little bit. And we're also just going to trace our stripes there, just to give it a little bit of depth. Check that thing out. I just peeled the painter's tape off and man, that thing looks sick. Well, at least I think so. Definitely has that monster energy kind of look to it that I was going for. Even though the scale pattern kind of got messed up, you know what, I'm still pretty happy with that. All right, I'm gonna let this dry up overnight and then tomorrow I'm going to put the epoxy clear coat on it and we'll get it on the rotisserie and then soon enough we'll be fishing it. But man, I'm pretty happy with that. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below.